Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can dynamically select previous year and then I will also show you the same you can model it let's say on a quarter or on a month with a bit of a caution right so over here if you will see what you have is if I want to go as much as many year back I can do it with the help of this slicer so how to configure that and how to use this so that when you change it you can go back in 2013 and you can model your calculations let's say sales or profit to go and check it for 2013 and do all the different types of analysis very very easily so how you can do that is something which i will show you but few quick information about the things that i maintain number one is this workbook uh, as you can see i am maintaining my date scenarios workbook so if you want to grab this workbook, what I have is the instructions in the uh, description as to how to get it. And second is if you want to follow it along with me, you need this orders data table. So how to get it is let me show you. So based on the link that I have given in the description, you will come over here in my data set folder. In my data set folder, what you will going to find is this data set sheet. Here I am maintaining now all of my data set and mostly I use this data set rest of that i have used in different types of uh, dashboards but this is the one which is being used over here so you can go ahead and download this in the from the row number 19 along with this information about uh, this particular workbook uh, or the google sheet where i am keeping all of my videos so this uh, inf instructions for this how to get this sheet is also present in the description what you can do is you can easily search any of my videos as you can see 300 plus videos that I have posted and the link is present over here that way searching of the video is very very easy with that let's get back all right so with that information here I am and uh, here is the blank workbook that I have created with the order sheet the sample superstore data set that I showed you all right so um, what what we need is first of all the anchor date base so anchor date is nothing but the latest date that we need and what I'm creating is a fixed data state that means it is at the data set level and let me show you what what it means so that you will get it so first thing first is a uh, new measure or even before creating a new measure let me show you what I mean by that is so over here what I have is a table is a subcategory and I am having the order date over here and from the order date rather than hierarchy I'm choosing the exact date so I'll click over here the order date and with that I need my battery my laptop's battery all right now I am all set and uh, if you see it produce a lot of dates we don't need this so from this order date I will going to choose the latest date and uh, what it gives me is basically the latest date based on which when the product was sold so over here if you see uh, the anchor dates are changing, right? Accessories last sold 25th, appliances last sold 30th, art last sold 29th. No, for reporting purposes, we always need the, the anchor field, the one field based on which we can go back and forth. So how we find that is by creating a new measure and let's call it fixed latest date. And uh, let, this is based on the max X function and in that table we will going to provide is the orders why we are saying all so that it is not taking the impact of any filter right and then we will going to say max and in this max we need the order date date part and close that so if you see the impact of this is if i bring it over here it brings only one field that is at the data set level right that is why I wanted this so that we can do all this. So I'll just go ahead and remove this since we have already seen it, right? Uh, once we have done that, what do we need is basically the uh, modeling. In the modeling, what we need is a parameter. In the parameter, we need numeric range. And uh, this parameter, numeric range parameter so that we can go back and forth. The name, let's say, is the uh dynamic dynamic i hope i've written it correctly so whole number minimum uh zero let's say current increment by one maximum 20. Uh, default let's just keep it create the slicer 
okay so it will going to create a new table and uh, we're going to create a new slicer right over here and based on this slicer we need the info okay two three right zero one two three and all so on and so forth so what do we need is now a new measure right so i'll just make sure i select orders and i click on the new measure and uh, i will say previous year and in the previous year alt enter i will going to get the latest date in this variable latest date is equals to the fixed latest date that we created right once we have this we will going to return the year underscore latest date so it will give me the latest year minus the dynamic date value okay so it will create this previous year let me then go ahead and create a kpi which is this in this kpi i choose this right now zero so nothing right latest year one year back two year back three year back four five six right you know that you can go back till 20. so you have this easily available to you now once you have this right since it is here you can also see the quarter right so you have the quarter information you can see minus two and that is what i was saying that it will become a bit tricky because what is happening is uh, so if it is zero you are in quarter number four if it is uh, one quarter back two quarter back three quarter back but as soon as one is coming right you're going one more quarter back zero so this is what you need to just make sure you are addressing this so i'll just show you and it will become complex if you are applying it for many more years i'm just showing you only for the previous year so what i'll do is i will press alt enter and i will say variable underscore latest quarter and uh, latest quarter is basically the four in this case uh, sorry uh, latest quarter is basically based on the um quarter of where are you quarter of uh, latest date minus one right so i'm pressing alt enter if latest um sorry underscore latest quarter right is equals to what zero right so zero it that means you have gone to four quarters back then one otherwise keep showing this value right so still not very perfect if you will see um what we need to do is we just need to make sure that it continues with that basically iteration so not a very perfect calculation from a quarter perspective uh, but let me just close this so over here three four five still the minus one so minus one let me just see i have not produced it i have only produced it for the year so let me just see very quickly what we can do it over here for uh, where are you previous year right this is the one all right so i just took my time by pausing this video so that you don't have to listen, uh, go through with this so spend around five minutes to perfect the calculation um, and the way we are saying that this basically can take care of only the last year right so if the dynamic date calculation is greater than three that means you have reached to that level when the previous year will come then what it is saying is based on the calculation that we are specifying for the uh, you know previous quarter 
at the 4. That means as soon as it will show 0, it will not show 0, but it will show 4, right? And when it will show uh, minus 1 plus 4, it will be third quarter, right? So this calculation will work fine. Uh, if you are in the current year, then this calculation will work. So if I show you, so we are in, uh, we are not subtracting anything. That means it is a current quarter. So one quarter back, two quarters back, three quarters back, four quarter back, sorry, uh, four quarter back, five quarter back, six quarter back, seven quarter back. And now it will not going to work because you have moved to the second last year. This is the one. So that requires furthermore perfection or furthermore complexity. So I want to leave it here. Uh, I have given you the idea as to how you can make, how you can work it around for the previous quarter as well. So this is about playing around with this when you are producing the previous year, previous quarter. It's tricky. Same with the previous month. Uh, tricky because as soon as you will reach to month number one, you have to make sure that it is taking 12 as soon as you are going one step back. But I hope you enjoyed this, uh, you know, mathematical session as to how you can work it around for these dynamic behavior and uh, get the desired output. With that, thank you so much. I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.